Well, Joe Biden made it official in Delaware on the final night of the Democratic National Convention. He accepted his party's nomination for president. Our political expert, Joe St. George, has the highlights and more on what we can expect from the Republican National Convention that starts next week. If you entrust me with the presidency, I will draw on the best of us, not the worst. I'll be an ally of the light not the darkness. Joe Biden speaks to the nation, the Democratic nominee for president with the biggest speech of his political career. Our current president has failed in his most basic duty to the nation. He's failed to protect us. Biden taking on President Trump, outlining his policy position that he'd issue a nationwide mask order if elected. But the night also featured something Biden isn't afraid to talk about, loss. He spoke to those who have lost someone during this pandemic. Your loved one may have left this earth, but they'll never leave your heart. As a sign of the times, Biden only hugging his wife inside the hall after the speech. But both Biden and vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris went outside afterwards to greet supporters in their cars and to briefly watch fireworks wearing masks. The final night of the virtual DNC seemed to have a little bit of everything. 30330. That would be the president's golf score if he didn't cheat. Comedy by the moderator. Stutter. Emotion with the story of a young boy who, like Joe Biden, struggles with a stutter. The focus now, though, shifting to the Republicans. President Trump's convention begins on Monday. Campaign spokesman Hogan Gidley telling us they'll be ready with plenty of surprises. We saw what the Democrats did, um, but that's not necessarily going to affect what we had planned to do all along. Um, this president, uh, if we know anything about him, um, you know, he, he knows how to put on a production. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.